Hi, I'm Ember Burnham and I'm a Dance Sterling Scholar. I really love dance. I, it has taught me so much. Not only does it allow me to express myself, but it's taught me life skills that I can apply in other areas of my life. Especially drill team, it's taught me a lot of discipline. Well, I actually started dance in sixth grade. I joined a competitive team the next three years. Then I joined the dance company and the drill team. One of my favorite dance styles is the military. It takes an insane amount of body control and body power. I also love the style of hip hop because there's just so much you can do with it. You can be sharp, you can groove, you can get low. It's just so unique and it's so just creative and you can just make it your own. Last year was really hard for our team because of COVID. We had girls getting quarantined days before competitions and we had alternates having to go in. It brought a lot of anxiety and stressfulness to our team, but it also brought us super close because we had to work so hard to get together. In the spring, our coach was able to submit our videos to Contest of Champions and Dance Team Union. And in both of those, we took first place overall, which was really awesome because even though COVID was so hard for us, we were able to see our hard work paying off. I'm also the president of the Lehigh Joel team right now. It's been hard, but it's taught me a lot. I was able to plan a service project for our team. So I got connected with the Walk with Angels summer event. It's like a carnival and a little walk that they do to celebrate children with disabilities. And we got to go and we got to run carnival games for the kids. I'm part of the National Honor Society and the Key Club as well. And they're both service clubs. So it's given me a lot of service opportunities. For National Honor Society, we have to do 10 hours of service per term to be able to stay in the club and I've been able to find unique ways to serve. Me and my family, we love to go carol at rest homes and visit the people there that don't get a lot of visitors. This year I was also able to go on a humanitarian trip to Puerto Rico and we helped build houses for a woman named Millie. We got to cement walls and put in windows and paint. Millie was the sweet lady. She was probably in her 50s or 60s. Although she couldn't speak English, we were still able to connect and create a bond despite the language barrier. After high school, I planned to go to college for a year, I'm hoping to go to BYU. I want to study either communication disorders or athletic training. I also want to serve a mission for my church. I want to teach dance later in my life just because I love it so much and I want to help other people find joy and a passion for it.